Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday to you. We made it to the weekend. And look at this photo. I'm obsessed with this. This is a look at Deer Creek Reservoir right in the distance. Mike Kristoff sent this photo in a little bit earlier to Utah's Weather Authority. And look at those wildflowers. I mean, it's a sea of them. And this weekend, it's going to be a good weekend to get out there and check some of those out. Although we do still have some moisture in place. And you know what that means. That's what's going to fuel some of these showers and storms. So here's that slow-moving trough of low pressure that's been pumped pumping the moisture into the Beehive State. It has shifted now. It's going to start to lift northward. As it does so, we're going to see less and less of a chance for some of those showers and thunderstorms. We can't rule it out today, though. We do have some moisture in place, and so you can see the best chance for some of those. It's these areas shaded in green, but really what we're expecting, some of these to blossom up later this afternoon across our northern central mountains. And I'll show you that in our future cast, but first you can see down south, it's looking good. If you're going to go on an adventure with your family, your friends, uh, flash flooding is not expected at our parks and our recreation areas. Okay, let's take a look at the timing of, of these rain and these thunderstorms and when it's going to move in. So there's that big trough of low pressure. It's moving out of here. It's making its grand exit. You can see early this afternoon, mainly what we're seeing are these storms popping up, up in the mountains. Some of those right along that border between Nevada and Utah. Later on this evening, some showers in our mountains of central Utah. And by by tomorrow morning, we start clearing out. So if you have plans to get outside, uh, maybe do some yard work, take the pups for a walk, uh, go to the park. Things are going to look good early Saturday morning. And it does look like Saturday is going to give us a good chance at staying dry. A stray storm, though, could pop up this afternoon and even Saturday. It's going to feel just like yesterday, low 80s. And this is what it typically feels like this time of the year. So these are our average temperatures for us. You've got the 70s in Provo, 68 in Park City, 89 in Moab, upper 80s in St. George. And boy, things have been feeling good in St. George, hovering in the 80s for quite some time. Tonight will stay mild, feeling like this morning will drop down to the mid to upper 50s. In St. George, you drop down to the low 60s. Tomorrow, you're back to 91. 89 Sunday, you'll stay dry this weekend. Uh, you'll see a little bit of a shift Monday, a bit cooler in the mid 80s. And then you're going to do a quick climb uh, towards the triple digits. By Thursday, you're at 97. So you're getting closer to that. Northern Utah, I know you're kind of just seeing the same thing each and every day. So over the next seven days, a chance in the afternoons for some of those showers and storms to blossom up. Our best chance, though, at staying dry today and tomorrow, low 80s. Warmer Sunday, that's when another storm lines up, and this is going to bring us a better chance for those scattered storms. Late day showers and storms, and with that, Temperatures that are also cooling Monday, Tuesday, you're down to the mid to upper 70s, isolated storms Wednesday, Thursday.